Good day everybody! This is Nell Caroco again and I received a message from my LinkedIn friend. His name is Hudir Palukula. He said, Hi, good morning! My name is Hudir. How to calculate the LPD values for the exterior facade? Thank you. Okay, so LPD means the lighting power density. So I think Sudir is working for an American uh, lighting design requirements because this LPD is mostly from Ashray. Okay, so um, Sudir, it's very easy. So if it's a facade, it's very easy to calculate the LPD. Okay, I open now one of my example facades here. It's very simple facade. Actually, you can multiply this design into big areas but I just use a small portion of the facade so to do that let's go and check the requirements first so from ASHRAE there is space by space method to get the LPD or area calculation method or the building area method this is for the interior and this is for this exterior and based on the ASHRAE this is 2009, I think. Um, yeah, you have like uh, 0.2 watt per square foot. That is the requirements or the min uh, the maximum requirements uh, for each illuminated, illuminated wall or surface on facade. So this is the building facade. Or you can have it by uh, 5 watt per linear foot for each illuminated wall or surface length. Okay, so if you want to know more about this ASHRAE LPD requirements, you can actually Google it and just type LPD from ASHRAE or Lighting Power Density. Alright, so let's go and check this one. So the, the requirements is 0.2 watt per square foot. That is, um, what is this? A minimum or the maximum? I think for the outdoor, this is the maximum. So if, if you want a more efficient lighting design, you should comply with this 0.2. And uh, to show you some of my LPD um, requirements before in Dubai. So this is one of our project in, uh, this is project in Saudi. So they are aiming for LEED certification. And now they are asking for the LPD requirements to get the points for the, L, uh, for the LEED certification. So if you found that this is achieved and this is the square foot because uh, US is square foot. Per, uh, watt per square foot not watt per square meter you just need to convert it into 10.75 I think and this is another one this is a government building in uh, Dubai this is Dewa and we also did the LPD requirements calculation this is a simple table for LPD requirements and you can see again this is square foot oh, here you go and yeah so this is more of the interior but for the exterior it's different because they have either uh, 0.2 watt per square foot or 5 watt per linear foot. So either by length or by square foot. And to, to find out that one, so I open this uh, simple facade now. And if I go and check the documentation, I can only find the summary of the total power consumption of these luminaires. But because it says uh, what per square foot, then I need to find out the total uh, area for the facade. So I'll just go to the front view and either measure it like get your tape measure here like this. So it's 7.5 by 9.6. So if you go and get the calculator 7.5 by 9.6, that would be 72 square meter. Or you can get it from linear foot, which is from here only up to here, which is 7.5. So you can either linear foot or square meter. And then after you find this one, go and just get the luminaires that you use for the facade. Do not, I, do not include the luminaires that you use for street lighting or garden lights, just for the facade. So go to the documentation tab and then get the... Um, uh, luminaires list for that building and you can find here that it says the total wattage is 540 watts you can see here if we zoom it so yes it's 540 watt 
So if we want to check that one, the total consumption of the luminaire is 540 watt, and we multiplied it or divided it into um, square meters. Oh, hold on, because we are dealing with the square foot. So let's just take a square meter first, and then we will convert that one into square foot. Okay. So let's just do that because this uh, Dialux Evo file that I opened is um, square meters. Okay, so 540 watts divided by uh, square meters, which is uh, 7 to 2. So we have 7.5 watt per square meter. And if we convert that one into square foot, that would be 7.5. So the answer is yes. So the square foot is 0.69. So it means I did not achieve the requirement for this LPD. And if we go to the linear foot, so I have 5 watt per linear foot. And if we convert this um, linear foot, which is, if I'm not mistaken, 7.5. Let's double check. Yes, so it's 7.5. So if we convert that one into linear foot. Okay, so if we convert linear feet to meter, uh, we will have 3.28. Okay, so we just need to multiply this one. So 7.5 times uh, 3.2 to make it linear foot at 3.28 equals 24.6. And the total wattage based on my... Uh, calculation is um, 540 watts okay so 540 divided by 26.4 equals 20 watt per linear foot so yes it's obviously that my lighting facade lighting design will not achieve um, the LPD requirements it will fail totally fail okay so to do that to make it achieve while achieving the lux uh, value or the ambience or the light scene that you want to create in your facade all I need to do is just reduce the wattage of this luminaire so maybe with this linear fitting I can have a lower wattage like this one is 30 watts maybe I can go for say 8 watt or 5 watt type of linear flood to wall wash this uh, facade but it's not that much maybe but because you are achieving the LPD then you really need to make sure that uh, you have low power consumption or you can have the most efficient luminaire which has la a higher lumen output but lower wattage so just go and check for this kind of fittings and then from there, you can achieve now your uh, LPD requirements. Okay? So, yeah, that's how it is, easy it is. Again, just need to get either, go to the front view, uh, get the total area by either square or by linear foot. And if you have a very irregular shape uh, facade, then just go and get those surface area, the total area. And then that's it. Do not complicate things. Just make it one whole area. And if it's a curve, then just imagine you have, just get the, the formula to get the surface for the curve. And that's it. And then you just need to multiply it into the total power or divide it into the total power. And you can have now your uh, LPD requirements. Okay? So if you want to learn more, I have my online training this coming May 22. This is for the Dialux Evo Advanced. If you want to enroll, go and visit www.enrocolightingdesign.com and then go to the shop. And then from there, go and select the Dialux Evo Advanced. So this Evo Advanced, Evo 9.0 Advanced, I will teach how to calculate daylighting calculation maybe this LPD requirements and other stuff. So it's more of advanced. So go on and check that one. It will start on May 22, this coming May 22. So that's it. See you again on the next video. Bye.